girl, keep step away from that table. Immediately step away from this table of food. You cannot eat that food as a type 2 diabetic. We're going to watch Chantel's latest mukbang, guys. It looks horrific. Oh, God. It's called Kuwait Food Mukbang, and it's huge. Oh, God. Cheekbones, everybody. Are you ready for this? Oh, Lord. Oh, she's back on camera, guys. We get to see her back. <laughs> Chantel is... Chantel is back on camera. Hold on, let me come up. Chantel is back on camera. She's got a, a 18 minute mukbang. We're gonna sorry. 18 minute mukbang we're gonna watch. Was not expecting this. Just she is just continuing. She's back to her old games, guys. She's back to her she's nothing changed, okay? I might have to throw up the trigger warning real fast too for the uh food. Yeah, cheekbones, you are going to need wine. You're going to need wine for this. Oh, God, it's bad. I just took a peek seat. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, she did promise us smut bang content. So she's going to do for probably about a week now exactly the content that she promised. And then she's going to get bored of that content because that kind of how Chantel rolls. This. So let me bring this up so you just guys know what horror we're about to see. Yeah, because I don't think she was going to have any better content on the other stuff. So let me bring her to the stage. Hello, booty beauties. <laughs> well, hello, guys. It's me and my face. <laughs> I am back. I'm sitting in a more comfortable chair than the hard chairs that we have with our kitchen table. So yeah, so I'm doing a um, have dinner with me type of mukbang. I have a mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we have, let's take this out. Ooh. We have some Kuwaiti food. Julia, do you want this box? Of course you do. I have a wine glass with ice. Okay. And this is just a freshly squeezed, like they just juiced it right now. <laughs> Pomegranate juice. Okay. Oh, it's like iced. So it's like frozen or something. Wow. Yum. What the heck? <laughs> okay, well. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, there's that. Julia, you cannot have any of this. <laughs> I have a delicious looking um, pomegranate salad with lemon. Why do the seeds have to come out? I hate that. So it's pomegranate and roca. Yes, let's talk about that for just a minute, shall we? Yes, absolutely. That's the first thing I'm thinking when I'm seeing her about to tuck into all this like food, that fruit juice. How late is it in Kuwait? That's a good question. Maybe she just finished editing and then posted. I'm not sure, really not sure. But my question is with this particular, you know, meal is, you know, just looking at that fruit juice. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to cheekbones comment. That juice contains more sugar than cola. Absolutely. I think that pom-pom juice was pretty popular for a while. And I think if you actually looked at the sugar content in that juice, it was it was pretty high. Scary, you know. When you look at the juice, you know, anytime I pick up any fruit juice, oh my God, it scares the life out of me. So here we have Chantel, raging diabetic, it, drinking this fruit juice. So I think most of us were probably in the healthcare field. Name of the movie is I Accuse. Oh, Schneeberger. Uh, Canadian doctor. Commit. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take a look at that, Team Psych Ward. Yeah, so this is a diabetic. 
Just because Chantel went off camera for a few days does not mean that type 2 diabetes mysteriously and magically disappeared along with Chantel's, you know, other aches, pains. She still, if you look, okay, I'm going to look at her. I'm going to bring her up bigger on my screen for a second. I don't know. You can see, she, doesn't she still look swollen on that one side of her face? She looks still like she's swollen. We talked about her swelling in quite some depth the other day and what could have caused it. And the fact that it's so localized just to seemingly one side of Chantal's face. I can't say her freaking name. Chantal's face It is something more localized. It cannot be like from a heart failure or something of that nature. It's got to be like something more localized. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. And then she's got, uh, last thing I want to say. She looks puffy and swollen. Yes, she does, Kimberly Ann. She looks very puffy and very swollen at this time. You can see the swelling. Yeah, the swelling's not going away. I feel the swelling and the fact she didn't specifically look at pain was the reason why she got off camera was because of this. This is what I thought was the reason why she got off camera was because of the swollen face. Her hands. Oh, my God. Kimberly Ann, thank you. I was just about to mention that. You got there right with me. The, the hands are extremely, extremely puffy and swollen. They are very puffy. Wow. And I'm sure she got a filter on that too. Supposedly she was losing weight in the bed, but that doesn't look like to me like, and of course she's going to say it's water weight. You don't get localized swelling to the, I think she's got more than one problem going on. You can see the swelling. Yes. Yes. I see the swelling too. She looks bigger. She does. She really, she got the lip thing happening too, reality chica. And that's not through use of uh, Philip. And then she's about to chuck down this like pomegranate. And don't get me wrong. I don't, I like to add a little bit of pomegranate to my salad too. But that salad for me with the pomegranate and maybe some type of protein, maybe tofu or something added to it, would probably be my entire meal. But just wait to watch what Chantel brings out. And then she's going to drink all this sugary fruit juice as an unmanaged type 2 diabetic. Let's not forget that Chantel is an unmanaged type 2 diabetic. What do you know? Hey, Rose is back. I'm noticing extra pins holding her hijab. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Yes, I see. She's going to use the excuse that those were the ones that... Uh, she sewed. You remember she said that she was going to sew her own her jobs together? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> that's her excuse. Yeah, hi. Yeah, she's she's did not want us to talk about her health. But in her true crime that she released today, about the first 10 minutes or so, was her talking about her health before she actually got into the story, which was <laughs> unpracticed is the best word I'm going to use. To get through the YouTube <laughs> people. She has a snag in her heel. Yes. I, yes, she does. I, right over here. I see right here, maybe. Oh, she just looked very swollen, man. And I was looking, you know, mm, you know, this is, this swelling is, is not good. Wow. Chantal. Yeah. We, okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. We'll see what she continues to eat. See if she drinks the whole fruit juice. That's what scares me. Can we, can, hold on. We're missing a pre-testing blood sugar and an after. Like, a couple of hours after the meal kicks in. I want to know what the blood sugar is two hours after this meal. I'm going to say it's back to... <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Oh, uh, Lord, child. With so, a pomegranate, pomegranate dressing. Very refreshing. The whole thing. Okay. Use. And the piece de resistance is this homemade bread. I can't. I'm super hungry, ah. as usual. <laughs> this bread, salad. Rose, you might need to look away from this crazy for this girl. Bismillah. <sighs> Mm. I think mm. you're right. Very tart. Hold on. Do you guys like pomegranates? I like the juice more than eating them. But I like eating them in salad, but just by themselves. Adrian! 
Thank you. I so appreciate it. I don't understand when people say she looks swollen. Is it just, just a look of a... Uh, uh, well, you know, that's an absolute... Let me change my settings so I can speak clearly. You know, that is a legitimately uh, good point. And uh, having worked in healthcare for some extended period of time and worked with individuals who, you know, may have uh, more weight than others, I still can sort of see things that don't look like... It's like... Have, uh, this looks very edematous. It's just there's something about the way the fluid is actually kind of holding itself on the fingers itself is kind of making me think that's more fluid than actual weight being held on the hand. It just is something, and I've worked with some heavy patients, and then this part of her face, if I look at her, it just, it's so much more swollen on one side. I keep thinking she's got something wrong with a tooth that she's not seeing to. I don't know. It just is always, unless that filter is just off kilter. But everybody's noticed that one side of the face is super swollen. Just one side. And that's what makes me think something's wrong because it just seems to be localized to this, this portion of her face. We don't sort of not take it seriously and do look because I promise you I've had some very heavy men who've come in with some really bad edema and it's wild yeah they look like the Mitchell and man okay let's get back to Chantel's about to drink down um her diabetes oh god that pomegranate juice is terrible Chantel mm. Mm. oh it's very sorry. hard sorry we were you just, guys like pomegranates I, forgot, I like the I juice got... more than eating them but I like I see, sorry, I've got. Uh, we were going to figure out if this is a pair of pants. I'm sorry. We were supposed to get into the pant mystery. I apologize, everybody. We're supposed to be discovering the pant mystery. And I do believe it looks like, and I hate to say that, but it does look like there's a waistband at the top of the bottom of this thing. And I just want to make sure, and I'm not trying to dissuade that, you know, this is not a correct garment made in the correct way but i just feel that maybe potentially is it here let me play all right let's take a look if not we'll just leave that mm. Mm. very tart do you guys like pomegranates i like the juice more than eating them but i like eating them in salad but just by themselves the seeds are a bit too crunchy <laughs> or if it's moving the cat is <laughs> so this is, I hope this is called um, yes, go ahead. hamis well and hamis is okay like <laughs> chicken chunks with potatoes this is potato batata in arabic chicken and batata hamis and it has peppers, tomatoes. It's like a stir fry. Onions. It uh, um, okay. Am I supposed to believe that somebody who's a diabetic? Cheekbones, I hope you're in the chat. Cheekbones. Uh, knowing that... Uh, uh, Chantel is a unmanaged uh, type 2 diabetic and probably should be on a much more restrictive diet for weight loss and just, you know, diabetes management. <laughs> would you agree with me that this with the potatoes and the bread and the chicken, is it potatoes in the, in the, did she say it was potatoes? I'm surprised it's not cheese in there. But I would think that that she has the sugary drink. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. If I... You're off again. I'm so... Oh, it's a lot of plastic. Yeah, there's just a lot of waste, too. I try to make sure that... Yeah, not ethical. That is... Okay, guys. Just to give you a heads up. This is from... This is from Ray Oren. And we're celebrating that nursing was voted recently in a Gallup poll for the 22nd year in a row as the most trusted and ethical profession in the United States. 
with politicians coming in about last. So I'm going to let you know, if you were my patient and I were giving you a dietary plan and people always say we do not talk to our patients about food or losing weight, nervous to have these conversations because patients get very sensitive when it comes around conversations around food and health and exercise and all of these things. But Chantel, if you are listening, and you're probably trolling through a bunch of channels because we're all reacting to that ridiculous tr crime story you gave to us today. And I had to chime in because it was medical. Had it been something, another type of topic, I would never chimed in, but it happened to be medical. And then this came out. Girl, keep step away from that table. Immediately step away from this table of food. You cannot eat that food as a type 2 diabetic. The salad, maybe. No, that, but it, at least she had a balsamic dressing it looked like for once. And maybe that's because she didn't decide to kill it with the damn ranch, onion, whatever the Jesus she ate. It's like, God, I'm going to I'm gonna take the table down. Yes, nurses are angels. Sorry, I can't. I can't with this woman. It's just... I'm here for the train wreck, but I'm glad she's not my patient. <sighs> she doesn't want people talking about her health. But don't show this on your channel, girl. Pardon my French, everyone. It's so good. You eat it with bread? But I want to try the salad. Yum. Peppers, pomegranates. Beauty bite. Mmm. Beauty bite. Checking my lipstick off. I don't want Ooh. collagen lip gloss in my <laughs> food. How many pieces of bread? Okay, okay, okay. So you take some bread. Okay. No, you bloody you don't, like Chantel. That. You put that bread down. Put that bread down. <sighs> Get it down, girl. Put the bread down. I'm telling you, put the bread down. You got to the count of three, as my mother would say. Jesus, what am I watching? Does she, if she thinks she defying me, no girl. I am 55 years old this year. I don't need, I don't tend to use filters. I have a not dissimilar background to you in some ways, but we look completely different. And I'm about, you know, eight inches taller. So, <laughs> yes. Put the bread down. A type two diabetic raging over here with a just just this is a plate of sugar in front of her. Just a plate of sugar. She made me take. She made me want to take down my just. Yes, I can see. I, I can offer a service for that. It does come at a price though. <laughs> <laughs> might cost you your dining table because I must just took mine down trying to hold on to this thing. Jesus Christ. I, I, I keep telling this lady, I'm here for the train wreck. I'm here for the train wreck. Let's get back to Chantel. About to take me down. Oh my God. I'm going to have to take my blood pressure after this. I swear. I cannot watch a type. Look at what she's eating. I, wanted, I was counting the bread. One, two. One, two pieces of Big ass bread. That happened. The night bot. I don't find it spicy. Maybe a little bit. And it's um. Get away from my phone. <laughs> It's um, breast meat, so my favorite is the breast meat. I don't like dark meat as much, but I'll still eat it sometimes, like with wings or chicken legs, I don't know. Wow. Yum. Yum. Oh. Mm. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, we gotta stop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is this going to disturb you? Yes, it, it, it will. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, warm hugs for everyone out there on this. Because I'm disturbed that Chantel already has the hijab acting as a standard napkin. And I don't know, and you know how I feel when Chantel, and I have my napkins. I got like a whole bunch of napkins. Look, I got like four or five napkins. Chantel and I got a single napkin, except the hijab is now a napkin. I cannot believe. She's going to finish this whole thing in front of me. I know it. God. And it's only 18 minutes, so that's scary. He makes a list. Take me three days. Of things that. And I don't eat chicken. Give girls ick. You know, like the ick. When you get the ick from like a dude or something. Some of the things are really weird. And one of the things the girl said was. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's 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 food. I saw it drop. No, it dropped its food. <laughs> um, when a man orders white meat. <laughs> oh, let me speed her up because she's boring as shit. Sorry, pardon. Oh, pardon my French. Sorry, Chantel. You just a little slow sometimes. So she got, she's going to one point two five, guys. I don't know. Some of them are weird. It makes for a good laugh. Right, Bob. Chill it out. Have you guys ever had Roka? We're not sure. She doesn't have a gold black. It's like a peppery green. That's the worst part. I'm going to get my nursing mom to. Julia. of a napkin they got stuffed under the table and an enormous just effing bite that just a food that went into that mouth that was wild ah and how does her digestive system handle all that i'm really not sure to be honest because you know okay i think i've said this before one of my biggest concerns is Chantel doesn't seem to drink a great deal of water nor does she get a great deal of movement, both of which are going to lead to, and all this bread and all this, it's going to lead to some bad constipation. Just bad. She is probably blocked up like them. I can't even imagine how blocked up she must be. I doubt, oh God, I don't even want to know. Because I know she's not moving her bowels properly. That's one of the most painful things. So if anything is causing Chantel to have lower back pain. It's because she probably got a big old piece of, of feces that's dry as a bone, just like hanging up there. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Chantel can't get away from feces, man. She can't get away from feces. I, I would not be shocked if that would not be the cause of her lower back pain. Because wasn't she supposed to get a colonoscopy and she refused to do it because she'd have to, like, stop eating and actually clear out her bowels, which she probably needs to do? I'm being serious as a nurse here. If anyone who knows anything about medicine will understand that Chantel got a <laughs> going on. Pardon my French. I probably I don't want to lose my monetization. <laughs> but she definitely... As my, she eats a lot of food, okay? And it's got to move. And unless she is taking any type of product, like a laxative in order, which I don't think the Unimate, either of those, one is a fiber, gives her fiber. And maybe that's why she wants fiber, is to potentially move herself. Yeah, she eats dates, but the thing is for proper, you know, uh, movement of your bowel, you need to have one good amount of fluids because it needs to come. You don't want it to be dry. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Secondly, you want to ensure, obviously, it's got a good amount of bulk and fiber to it. 
she never really eats any vegetables. She's never got broccoli. She's got the salad. Salad is the only thing. And that salad isn't going to be sufficient to provide the type of fiber that you need from food. You need to get it really from food. You can get it from uh, adding psyllium husk and things to your drink. But really, the best way to get it is through adding things to your food that have fiber, even an apple. That's why it's better to actually eat the fruit and the whole fruit itself, because that's going to give you the fiber, like the orange peel and, all, you know, inside, not the peel, sorry, the, you know, the skin of the orange inside or whatever. Don't even know the word. Sorry. But that's much better to eat than like any of the other states. Yes. Hydration and movement are essential. Yes, they're absolutely essential. I had a child once try to get me to give her like a medication. She was a little kid. Her mother was a nurse anesthetist. And so, you know, mom knew a lot about medicine and had all this stuff in the house. And she just wanted me to give her something to help her move her bowels. And I said, no, first you're going to drink some water and we're going to go walk for 30 minutes. And right afterwards, when she came to the house, she took a, she, she went. So a lot of times you have to help your gastric system move. People just really take for granted that you can kind of just sit there and everything is going to function. That's not how we were developed even initially as a species. We didn't just sit on a couch, you know, doing Netflix and trying to buy Stanley cups online. It's not the shit we did. Right, you can't have as a diabetic, you really can't have a lot of fruit. But, you know, the little bit you do have, you know, apples are a good choice because they have the fiber, they have vitamin C. They, they, you know, I love an apple. I tell you, I love an apple. I eat them all the time. You got to move, even just to walk. That's why every day, June Bug and I are out getting our steps every morning. And the other thing that will help is coffee. Coffee will help too. All this stuff, I mean, that could be, she looks terrible. I'm just looking at this picture right now. And she does not look good. Wow. She does look, I don't know if that's a funky filter. Or she just really swollen on that one side. She looks like she's almost photoshopped around the, the hijab. Anyway, all right, let's go. Let me keep going off my soapbox. But yeah, she's, we'll let her go for a minute and take me out. Okay. Sorry, that was the internal microphone. I didn't expect to talk so long. Okay, let me go. Hmm. I cannot tell you how elated I am that I can sit here and do this video. Because like, mm -hmm. I don't even know, like maybe nine days or something. It was over a week, I think. There's no way. There's just no way I could do that. <laughs> I couldn't sit. It was worse. Oh, it's Ken? So. Right here? Yeah. I mean, I've already talked about this part of my health, so it's nothing okay. new, but I'm grateful. Alhamdulillah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a piece of food. That I'm not in pain. I'm gonna add some water. I can, oh. Grabbed it. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, I mean, it was bad. It was bad. Yeah, people who have it know, because even before, like, that's one of those things you experience to really know what it's like. But my grandmother had it pretty bad. Oh no. And she used to complain about it. And sometimes I, you know, would massage her sore area. Okay, I have a feeling we're uh, Chantel talking about Grandma Sciatica. Oh, we am late. Don't worry. Uh, you, the only thing that you've missed is that uh, I'm gonna lose everybody in my streams because I can't figure out how to control my audio. Adrian was asking, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna put in my notebook um, just to show people I am trying because I'm pretty new at this. So I'm I'm trying to learn. 
I know my information is good. My execution is still somewhat amateur. But unlike Chantel, I probably give more time researching and trying to produce co content. She's had seven years doing this. I've, I've had about seven days. See, I don't get upset with the people in my chat. I actually like feedback. I really like it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, let me stop talking to get Chantel killing herself with her blood sugars back. Okay. But I never really understood, like, how bad. I thought maybe it was just a dull ache. But no, yeah. it's like a legit let me see. huge pain. It's bad. Come on, Chantel. But, and I, I mean, I thought I, I would never heal. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Is that a pen or a piece of, I don't know. It might be a piece of cross. Anyway. Sorry, I got real close. I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually a pattern on the hijab because it seems to be oh, all over. Is so fresh. Or, what it, or the pants oh, no. or whatever the heck she's all going. And this is the best thing. I crave it all the time. I could make this, I'm sure. But but you're too lazy, Chantel. You're too lazy. Maybe I will try to make it. You're too lazy. And I'm craving Chantel. Yeah. All right. Who wants to take a bet Chantel never cooked that in her whole life? And if she did, it would wind up in a damn pot rotting inside of a kitchen. She, she, she is a she lives a sixty some dollar pot trying to create this crap. <laughs> yeah, she is. I'm gonna get a proper streaming chair too. But let me see. All right, Th look at this. She looks like she's like she's like about to really like take in that little piece of bread she got there. She's. I think she's finished out the first piece, if I'm not mistaken. Does she look like she'll claim she made it, but we take out? Well, what a liar. I you think you think Chantel would lie like that? Come on. I don't think Chantel would lie like that ever. She seems so truthful to me. Seems like she's, you know, she back to oh, and she back to telling grandma stories again. How come Chantel? You promised new content. Hey, at least I reviewed the lady who fed the kid the donuts, man. And did like glitter and lasers Valentine Hall. I've been out here trying to do new content. And uh, and I'm new to this this game. This is all new to me. But I'm trying to keep it because, you know, I have some, you know, vague expertise in medicine. And I like to have a little bit of fun like I'm having fun with my girlfriends. And my girlfriends are married now. And they're hard to get up with. So I have fun now doing this and laughing at you. <laughs> This, I showed one of my guy friends. My guy friend Rob thinks my content's funny. Look at this. Is that how many is that a portion for? Well, I'm letting her, her her like go nuts. I'm gonna like um maybe that's why I'm losing people because of Nightbot. I gotta take it. I gotta Nightbot. You're killing my 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 live streams. Gosh dang it. Okay, let me go. <laughs> Bird's pie, not shepherd's pie. Cottage pie. Shepherd's pie made with lamb. Oh, Lord, child, keep away from the pie. Keep away from the pie. Jesus, child. And I prefer beef. Oh, Lord. Just what mm. you need in your arteries, child. Beef. She is high as a kite, thinking like that. All right, let me figure out what's going on with my thought. I was so hungry. <laughs> So I'm hoping to have my like kitchen organized. So I can do some cooking. What did she say? Like for videos because. Oh, cooking. I've just been okay. having like, I thought she said something else. Here. Bread, <laughs> cheese, olives, stuff like that. All right. I, all right. I'll figure out Nightbot another day. 
It looks like I have to set up like a complicated command and stuff. It's going to be something I'm going to have to get a YouTube tutorial on. <laughs> oh, hey, Pixie Dragon. Come on in. Uh, that's uh, sugar, sugary pomegranate juice. That's what that is. And if I do these videos, I'm just going to have dinner with you guys. Oh no. All right. Well, let me take let me take Nightbot down. <laughs> I haven't had Nightbot out in so long actually. Oh, Nightbot. So. I'm taking you down. Let me figure them out. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I wish you could try it. The potatoes are so soft. Let me save. Mm. All right, let me disable some things. Very filling with the bread, though. A lot of restaurants here make their own bread. It's so fresh and delicious. Mm. These kinds of things people eat with pita instead of a fork, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, this is a Kuwaiti dish. I mean, all right, guys. I think I I think you guys can have fun in my chat again now. <laughs> I think I just give it give it a try with some caps and some uh, <laughs> emojis, everybody. I don't think Nightball could have come in on that. I just disabled this stuff. So let me know. Somebody, somebody, be brave to try. <laughs> Because <laughs> I disabled a bunch of stuff. Let me know. Is it is it working? Yay! <laughs> drop a emoji, sunny, happy face, or you know something. Just drop an emoji and a big old light bulb is a fatty. Yeah. Yeah, give Nightbot some caps and some emojis. <laughs> We're back to being able to have fun. I didn't realize. Like I said, I'm kind of new. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. I better not. Yay, let's all shout. Yay! Yay! You're welcome, guys. No, thank you. I'm glad. Yay! 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 Thank you. I'm glad you guys pointed that out because I'm happy to improve things. I got that. Oh, look at Chantel. That's a perfect pause. How did I get such a good pause story? I'm so glad somebody said something. I see. I'm a very different person. I, I, I hey, I can't learn. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got that. Yay! I yay! No, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. You're welcome. You're welcome. I didn't realize, you know, people, you know, Nightbot was being pretty, yeah, pretty wild. <laughs> but I'd much rather you guys have like fun stuff going on. So, yeah. <laughs> we were had fun with Nightbot the other night, but Night Nightbot needs to retire some of their commands. And uh, I'll figure out the rest of that. But as long as they're just keeping certain things, yeah. Nightbot was going on a roll, man. They really. Oh my God! They put forty-two things on timeout. Jesus, Nightbot! <laughs> Look at Chantel, though. Look at that perfect face, just stuffing her face there. Yay! Stuff it, stuffing her face there. Stuffing, stuffing right there. That's perfect. She's got pomegranate sugar juice water. It's about. Mm, I'd say hour after that, she should probably take herself towards the Nightbot made a sense of humor. They did. Uh, she probably needs to make her way towards the uh, Kuwait clinic, I would think, after this meal. Jesus Christ, Chantel. All right, she don't have much longer, guys. 
Oh my lord, look at her. Piggies. I shouldn't say that. I don't want to say that, but that's bad, girl. Oh, that's bad. She wasn't going to make this content. Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't like it. Not for a diabetic. Come on, mm. girl. Do yeah, better, Shantae. Do better with your health. I'm just going to have the one bread. That's enough. They're huge, but they're thin. Thinned out. Mm. But they're yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, she eats like an angry toddler. You got to eat the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> nice to be chilling in the living room again. She looks like it's amazing how that pain just cleared up like that. Hey, that bulging disc just mm. went away like that. No more bulging disc. It's good oh. to too. Anyway, delicious meal. Um, I'm pretty full actually. I ate that really quickly. I'm so, when I'm so hungry, when I'm really hungry, I eat. Oh uh, gosh, no, Chantel, use the napkin, so girl. I guess, um, this is like phase one. I'm starting to feel better. Um, <laughs> so before I know it, light bulbs ready for the 2024 out, election. Things. And um, cooking, making cottage pie. <laughs> I hate just being down and out. Um, after a while, like I said, I get tired and I just keep fighting. <laughs> so even the the nurses at the clinic were like, "Wow, you're walking and you're feeling a lot better." And I'm like, "Yeah, you know." <laughs> okay, yeah. Even the nurses. Even the nurses. Anyways, guys. Yeah, even the nurses could not believe that Chantal made such a miraculous recovery from raging 20 out of 10 pain for her sciatica. Could not believe it. The nurses were even shocked, which I'm surprised because didn't she say that the nurses did not speak English? So how were they suddenly able to communicate all of this over? Because it seemed before that Chantal... Chantal <laughs> was pretty like had no idea what they were telling her or what they were saying to her. So how is it now she she's able to like get all this communication with the nurses? It's schematica. She's back to the schematica again. She said she wasn't going to talk about the health. She and or her like her personal life. So I guess that just meant Salah was off the table. But girl, I'm telling you, the lower back pain is probably because you're blocked up like a bejesus in your in your uh, large large intestine. You need to get that thing evacuated. Just letting it down right down to the rectum. Just letting you know uh, what we got going on here. So they, yes, they do. They speak English now. Absolutely, she communicates with hand signatures and hand gestures and stuff. <laughs> oh, she took down that pomegranate juice. That's uh, probably about 54 grams of sugar in that uh, juice cup over there, sitting in a gaming chair. Y yes. No, I think she got rid of the chairs and now has brought the gaming chair in because she got rid of the chair that was the, like, the IKEA chairs because they were hurting her back. Yes. Chantel lies. That's what you were typing? That's that's funny, isn't it? I think most of us think the same way. I'm thinking that Chantel's going to have like hyperglycemia by the end of this meal. That's what I'm thinking. Put a yes in the chat if you think that uh, Chantel will have elevated blood sugars unmanaged after this meal. Um, so that's about it. I'm also going to be preparing for Ramadan. It's like March 10th. <laughs> so that's soon. That's in like a month. In a few uh, um, yes. So I have Ramadan goals and <laughs> thinking about what I would want to tr achieve this Ramadan and how I want my schedule to be, um, what kind of content I want to share, you know, about it. I think it could be a pretty interesting content. Um, anyway, and my birthday's in March also. So my birthday will also be during Ramadan, which is very special. So yeesh. anyway, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to head out now. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Her face looks puffy.
So I think one of the big takeaways before we end the stream tonight and let everyone get on with their Mondays because it's getting bedtime now. Um, yes, let me go back. Her face looks puffy. She thinks she's bulletproof. She's 100%. She'll eat the rest of this. Oh, yeah. She's not done with this meal. Absolutely not. Chantel is not finished with that meal. Oh, I'm so full, she says, for about five minutes. Oh, she's just, there's a reason why she has two pieces of bread ordered. I don't know if they come in two packs or you order by the piece. But either way, <laughs> it doesn't matter because both are being consumed tonight. <laughs> the whole salad go in, the fruit juice is gone, and she probably has like a, uh, some uh, Mediterranean, you know, like some nice little treat treats that she's got, like cookies or something, or some chocolate balls or something headed off. Oh, God. I don't want... Yeah, I'd like to see her test in two hours, too. I'd like to see her test in two hours, too. I think that, technically, if she's in a foreign country to her native country. And not to say that Kuwait does not have good healthcare systems, but... I don't know how much with Chantel, and I think other channels have spoken about it, about how much she can actually get out there on a tourist visa and keep going to public clinics. I think there is some amount of health coverage that you get when you're somebody visiting another nation, I believe. Except in the United States, you will have a bill. If you are coming from another country, I believe, and you need to have health care, you will have a bill, which is why you need to have traveler's insurance if you're traveling into the United States. I don't know in Kuwait how much it is per a private health care visit, but I think the type of care that Chantel needs, which is probably just with her, she doesn't have a gallbladder. And she is sitting here eating very, you know, fat-saturated meals. And, you know, those chickens are, I think, cooked in, you know, for in their fat in their juices so i think they're not like eating a piece of chicken that's grilled it's a little bit different she eats bread and potatoes yeah every meal absolutely every single meal it's without fail and she's not she just doesn't the reason why she's probably not feeling good, her energy levels just look weird because she just to me kind of assessing her and looking at her as she ate the meal she doesn't look like she has a lot of energy. I don't know if she's necessarily, uh, how much pain she's necessarily in, but she does not look like she has a lot of energy. And I think a lot of the comments that we make about how she looks physically is part of the reason she decided to remove herself off the camera for a little bit. And also to milk out the schematica on, because she needed to get off the camera because she, I think, I swear there's something going on with that side of the face that she is not telling us or not addressing. or Because it's just, I'd love to see a filter-free filter picture of that face without, without it being like a close-up of some weird one that always seems to appear online, you know? All right. I'm just going to finish out and make sure uh, we don't have any more questions here in the chat. Does anybody, I just wanted to thank you. If you have not, Hit the likes, hit the subscribes, hit the bells and all that, you know, jazz. I would love for you to do that. Or it's just, this, this, ah, I'm so tired, I can't even talk. Chantel's got me tired. Subscribe would be the most important thing uh, just to help me get to that 2000 so I can put my nursing license onto my channel or my professional license. Give a little bit more validity to what we're talking about here maybe have a chance to talk about more topics without the gods of YouTube getting upset about me. I'm just so glad you guys joined me this evening. Thank you guys so much.